Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Well, we can't have a Packers party without Mad Dog and Merrill. Great to see you hey, guys. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, see you. I can't yeah, even yeah, believe. Good. Thank you very yep. much. Yes. First of all, I have to say congratulations to this guy. Gramps. Thank you. First one, right? Yeah, first one. Ooh, and so tell us yeah, more. Well, Come on. Well, she went on labor on Labor Day. What a better wow. way to celebrate Labor Day, huh? <laughs> We're not so, talking about his wife. No, We're talking no, not about... my wife. No, no, my son and his wonderful wife, Hillary. So. And, and baby, baby boy. Baby boy, Navin Daniel. Oh, so. and he's healthy and happy. Healthy, and... happy, and uh, spent the first night at home, so I guess it went sort of smooth. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. On there. So it worked out really nights. good. That's why it's good to be a grandparent. That's that. right, exactly. Yeah. And get exactly. out your wallet, by the way. I already have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your wife is going to... No, we had that discussion already. Well, you got to get this, 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 They do this, a lot of shopping, this. those yes, grandmas they do. do. They do. Okay, so what's on the menu today, guys? You know, you know something that, you know, I, I was trying to think of what to do, and everybody's got like a bushel and a half of zucchini. Yeah, zucchini coming out of your ears, and people, yeah. neighbors are dropping it off, and you're like, no. I love you, but really, do I need more? And, and, you know, I guess it's been a healthy year for tomatoes. <laughs> It, it, right now, a late start. Late, a wonderful, late start, but yeah, a wonderful end. Yes. So zucchini, we're going to do everything breaded here today. Ooh. So I'm going to take a zucchini, cut off both ends, and we're simply going to do a wonderful little zucchini wedges. Ooh. And I took a little bit of our Italian harvest, and I've actually had these marinating. Okay, so for people who, um, where's the Italian yeah, harvest? Yeah, Italian okay. harvest is right there. Okay, so you yeah. and I, we've always marinated in like bottled Italian dressing, and, exactly. and you guys decided, well, we're going to make it even better than the, stu the yep. regular stuff. So yep. you guys have a whole line of barbecue sauces spices yes we do um, what, wonderful thing about the marinades here is that they're low in sugars like a gram of sugar per serving so meat products don't burn on the grill okay diabetics love it too by the way yeah. right yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah but but it's low in sugar and it's gluten-free and it's got all sorts of good stuff it's got the red pepper green pepper onion garlic uh, lemon juice concentrate vinegar um, so i gotta smell you this. always work from the bottom and go up yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it smells good so okay. i'm gonna take a, 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 some bread crumbs okay Simple little breadcrumbs. And we're going to do this on the grill? This I'm the, confused. In a, in a, yeah, exactly right. Okay. Uh, garlic pepper blend, a little bit of our grilling magic with the garlic pe pepper blend. And Meryl and I both realized today we're both using cumin, so we figured the grilling, s the tailgate season is cumin. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Cumin. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is cumin. So cumin a garlic away. pepper blend, some wonderful cumin over the top, and take your wedges of zucchini that have been marinating now, and all you simply do, Amy, is roll them a little bit in that breading, those go directly on the grates to the grill. A little mm -hmm. bit of fire underneath it to begin with, and then you can turn them off and do indirect. Let's scoop those off right now, and I'll show you the, the other two things real quick. I'm gonna do. Wow! So we did not deep fry these at all. No. Wow. And, and they're, wow. they're, they're crispy and they're delicious. Let's see if I can get them all there. They're crispy and they're delicious, and they're individual little flavors on the grill of the mm. zucchini. So the bottoms toast a little bit. You can turn them if you want to, but I found out when they're breaded, you don't need to. Yeah. Ooh. And here's a little trick: tomato wedges. To cut tomatoes into wedges. Okay. And simply marinate them also just a little bit. When and you say marinate a little bit. We marinate not to tenderize, but to give a little character, right. personality, and veggies. flavor. Okay, for like, like an hour, couple hours. Two to eight hours. Yeah. Max. Okay. okay. So, so one hour for vegetables is fine. Okay. So now we've just simply got the little bit of crusting over the top of the tomato. Okay. Those go on the grill. But here's a neat little idea for hors d'oeuvres. Hard-boiled eggs. Really? Okay. Take a yes. hard-boiled yes. egg, cut it in half, and slash just a little bit of Italian harvest on there, just enough to give it a little bit of a coating so that we can, oops, sir, cool. so we can coat it, and simply take those little devils and you put them directly on the grates of the grill. Let me show you that. I just love this. Phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> These are uh, neat little toasted little uh, hard-boiled eggs on the grill that have been toasted and to finish them off a little bit of our dough works which is the uh, uh, homemade ketchup with the sauerkraut the onion mm. with the sauerkraut the, the the sauerkraut the onion the homemade ketchup over the top of it and just a little bit of mustard mm. so a little bit of toppings over the top of those with the dough works and those are you, you can try one fancy if you want. Yes. i'm gonna try one right now Merrill, but Merrill talks about his grills. <laughs> I, you know what i like about it and my kids actually um, don't do zucchini, but they do fried zucchini. So I think they'd yeah. be all over this. You oh, know? it's so, absolutely wow. excellent. Yeah. Absolutely excellent. All right, so hey, you know, we're meat. meat tailgate, a little, little meat in yep. action here. Yep. We're going to be doing some ribs okay. uh, on the grill. And it's a great thing that you could actually do this ahead of time if we're going to the tailgate thing. But I've got a nice rack of ribs here. You always want to skim the back of these ribs. Okay. I don't know if I've got enough time to do this. Yeah, you do. You but do. A, but a, a good way to really do this is take some paper toweling. You've cut a little bit on here. Now, these are a little bit different, but let's take this poles. Like I Look should at that. 
You so pull that right off. Why would you do that? Why do you need and to do that? Because what it is, that'll bring the flavor. If you're even going to smoke the ribs or whatever, you're going to cook that all the way through where the skin... And make it tender. Or yeah, okay. right. Okay. The skin actually hides that a little bit. So pull that completely all the way off. And that's easy enough easy to do. Easy to do. Use the paper towel. Isn't that great? So that whole membrane came right off that whole rack of ribs, and it makes it tender as right. well. So right. can, it'll cook through better. You're okay, right. now we're going to show people... We get questions all the time of like, how do you do the ribs? I want the ribs tender. We're going to show you this now, and we're going to show you the after effect Do you pre-cook them? No. You don't need so to Here's the them. thing what we're going to do. Well, is I'm kind gonna get... of on the grill. Well, okay. that's true. Okay. We are. I'm lying to you. Okay. He caught me okay. on okay. that. Okay, but you don't right? need to boil them. You don't need to boil them. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to rub a little bit of our Italian harvest in here. Okay. Okay. And then there again, you can use any seasoning. Obviously, I'm going to promote Mad Dog and Merrill's products here. But I'm using our Grilly Magic. They're nice guys. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. <laughs> I, like, I like those guys. They're really nice. They're funny, easy going. But I'm using a low sodium. Okay. All right. If you got something really salty, it's going to pucker in there. So do it on the front. You can do it on the back here. Now that we took the memory off. Yes, there you go. Because right, now it can get in there. Exactly. Right? Otherwise, right. it was exactly. like a barrier. Exactly. I get it. Now, a little thing, too, and it was just coincidence. We never talked about what we're going to do, it, but I'm going to use cumin today also on this. Just a little bit for on flavor. A little smoky flavor. Right. Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do, and I will show this on the aspect. I'm going to brown this up about five to six minutes on the grill. On the grill, over on each high, side. Heat. high heat, uh, high heat. Okay. Then I'm going to brown that up, and then I'm going to wrap that up in aluminum foil, place it on the grill, and you're right, I am going to pre-cook them. It's called the Texas Crutch. Okay. I'm going to let that go for about an hour, and then at the end, I'm going to sear them. You want to put your barbecue sauce on right at the end. There. I know what you're talking. About. Okay. Right. So what you're saying is. Basically, we're going to sear it quick, yep. then wrap it in foil, and that's going to keep it nice and moist yep. and right. get it tender, yep. and then get it out of the foil. Sear it up again. Yep. And the little For sauce a on the end. Yeah, just yeah. 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 right at the end there. Yeah. Real quick, we're doing some hot legs today, mm. okay? I uh, started so chicken wings. I'm doing uh, legs because you got some meat on them, you know? Yeah. Drumsticks. Yeah. yeah, no, they're hot legs. They're right. hot legs, not drumsticks. Okay. <laughs> but you got something to hold on to. I thought he was to. saying I'd have hot legs. <laughs> <right? Yeah, laughs> I like that. That's what I mean. But, there again, I'm going to use a little bit of our Italian harvest, just to have a little bit of an oil base in there. And then I'm going to use a little bit of our spicy barbecue sauce, which happens to have some habanero in it. It's okay. not over spicy on there. But the reason I'm doing this is that it does have a little bit of sugar count on here, but this will cut down the sugar, but just a little bit so of that. So in other words, he's marinating Marinate. again, not to tenderize, yep. but to give it character give it first some flavor. Yep, and some flavor. Okay. I'm using apple cider vinegar. Okay. You go down south, they use a lot of vinegar. I like using the vinegar barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Very few of us up here like the vinegar barbecue sauce, I but like I do. It. I do I too. Like it. You know, they you say two south, out of three people. Here, well, there's two <laughs> out of three there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And you can do whatever you want, but there again, I'm going to marinate this well, for so about. so neat. Put the cap back on. There you go. See? <laughs> well, I think my wife's watching or something. She's anyway. trained you yeah, well. She's trained me well. But I'm going to sit that in the refrigerator for a good hour or so on there. But I'm going to grill these also the indirect method of cooking. No heat underneath that. Grill these for approximately 45 minutes to an hour. At the end, which you'll see in the next segment, we're going to brown these babies up, Ooh. put the barbecue sauce on. Yum. You always want to put the barbecue sauce at the end. People have a yep. tendency to put the sauce Don't on too put early. It on too and soon. then next yep. segment, I'm going to do some uh, uh, chicken tenders breaded and, and, and thighs. Yes. I, I am totally, I've never thought about yeah. doing, I mean, I love breaded stuff, yeah. but I, that's why I don't do it at home because I don't want to do the whole deep fryer thing. The, the, the chicken oh. tender, everything's wonderful. It's just Ooh. delicious the way it's going to come out. I'll, I'll show you in a minute or two, but they're Can't just wait. phenomenal. Did you Can't try wait. the egg? No, it's right here. We okay. should go you into break out in an egg. It. We'll right. be right back. Stay with us. More fun, great recipes, including the ultimate oh. Bloody Mary. Are they excellent? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're excellent. All right. Mm -hmm. Wow. We'll be back. Mm -hmm.